Hello everybody, uh, you just got your Aegis box in the mail and I'm going to show you what's inside of it because there's a lot of content. So if you got your uh, deluxe box, it comes with this here box sleeve. You're going to go like this and so this thing's pretty cool. We unlocked it with Kickstarter stretch goal. It's a, you can unfurl it. It has some of that magazine glue along this edge here so you shouldn't have to worry about tearing it. You can unfurl it and to make one big panorama poster. Or, if you look on the inside, there is a large poster on the other side that has all 100 robots in the game. And so that's pretty neat. It's just a cool little piece of swag for everybody who pledged at the deluxe level. And that's only available for those guys. But other than that, it doesn't do much. Um, so then you have your normal Aegis box. You open it up. And here's what you're looking at. So you have this little introduction sheet right here, which you should read, but I know a lot of people won't. So, we're going to look at that in a second. Uh, you have 13 energy trackers. These all function especially the same, but we wanted to put one in there for every character because it was cool and it wasn't really that much extra cost. So, each player will have one of these when they play. Uh, next you got your roll book. we'll look at that. And then you got one, two, three, four, five, six punch boards. That's where a lot of the weight in the box comes from. Uh, four of these have all of the robots in the game. So one through four has robots one through 25, then up to 50, then up to 75, and then up to 100. And then the last two punch boards have all the terrain in the game. Uh, these various terrain tiles you stick on the board to uh, set up walls and stuff. So this is basically all of the game's content um, in terms of game pieces that you see on the board. Then you have your board. It slots into the space on the tray right here. And it's double sided for two player and four player and we'll look at that in a sec. And then we have all these varying decks of cards that are labeled one through five. And they are all in here too in these plastic baggies and at least one of them should be cellophane wrapped. They're supposed to all be cellophane wrapped but stuff happens. So the so what you're looking at here is we structure the game so that if you open the box you can easily play with pre-built teams right out the gate without having to shuffle through all of this content. You have box one and it has four me uh, we have, you have deck one and it has four pre-made teams. Um, so that's what this guy is right here. It has Einar, Etwal, Gamun, and Ixa and each of them has a bunch of robots that you can play with. And these cards are sleeved just because this is 100% new but so yeah, Einer's team has a face card. These cards don't actually do anything functionally in gameplay, they're just more for a reminder and to give you some light reading while it's your opponent's turn for the different characters' stories. And then Einer's team is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven basic single letter robots and three combined robots. And that's basically what we're going to see with all of the pre-built teams. There are eight pre-built teams in the box total. So yeah, seven basic dudes, three combined dudes. You're going to use five of those basic robots to play with. And then two are extra for when you get a little more used to the game. You can find these lists in case you shuffle all your cards together and get out of order. If you look on the back of these uh, deck faces, you will see these different pre-built team lists. Um, and they'll tell you which uh, teams, uh, which robots go on which pre-built team. And these, are good. these are pretty good for beginners. They're all based around different... Uh, strategies. So you see Einer's, he has five robots on here, and then you'll see two gray ones at the bottom with a little line next to it. That means those are the extra robots. They usually have like some different abilities that don't quite go along with the first five very like as smoothly for new players. So yeah, um, that's something cool once you crack open the box. So I suggest, you know, you crack open like Einer and Atwal's team, you just play with those right out the gate. You take Einer's ten cards, and then you got Etwal next, and you gotta take Etwal's 10 cards. And then you go like this, and you just, you just ignore the rest if you're playing the game for the first time. Um, and then to figure out where your pieces are, this is the other cool thing. If you look on punch board number one, all of Einer's robots are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you can see like there's a red outline around these standees if you look closely. And then the next 10 robots, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, are Etwal's robots. So you don't even have to really hunt and peck around for these pieces when you're first opening up the game. You can just take the first 20 cards out of the deck 
uh, out of deck one, and the first 20 pieces off of punch board one, and bam, you're in the game. It's all good. Uh, you set up the board, and board setup is easy. Let's look at that real quick. So you're going to open up your board, and it's two-sided for two-player and four-player. If you're playing for four-player, just use all four teams in the first deck. Here's what your board looks like, and you'll see these cracks on the board. Like, here's one, here's a cluster of cracks, here's a cluster of cracks, like these dirt splotches here. This is a predefined terrain setup, and you can just find these specific pieces on these tan boards right here. So see, you got a waffle, and you put it on the space that looks like a waffle. And that way you don't have to really guess super hard about how to set your board up the first time. It's the same thing on the other side where there are these like blue-purple splotches that have a basic terrain set up. So, you take a, so yeah, open the box, take out uh, first 10 cards, first 10 pieces, set up the board terrain, and then you're pretty much good to go. You take your robot pieces and you put them in these standees. There are five um, in six colors. So, you know, you put all of Einer's robots into the five red ones, and you put uh, at walls five basic robots into the five blue ones. And then your combined robot tokens would just go off to the side along with the combined robot cards. And when you combine in the middle of the game, you take the token out of the standee and you put the new token into the standee. And that is basically how that works. And then once you get the game going, you can once you really start to get into uh, know what you're doing, uh, deck two has two new commanders and two new pre-built teams. Uh, it kind of introduces more lasers and a new ability called Energy Drain, which is a whole different way to win the game. And then Deck 3 has some more technical stuff, like uh, stat increasing and decreasing things with Diane's team, and then lots of AoE explosion nonsense with Poppet's team. And then the last two decks are don't have any pre-built teams, but they have lots of extra content. So deck four is where you find all the four-letter and five-letter, like, Voltron robots. Those are more specialized and, like, more um, gimmicky, and you kind of have to build teams around them to use them. So you should probably only want to get into those once you're really uh, comfortable with the game. And then deck five has ten new commanders and some more cool, like, level two, three, and four and, uh, robots to play with. Um, so that's for people who, yeah, you, once you really get in and you really know what you're doing, uh, you have all these new team building opportunities that present themselves with the fifth one. And then deck six for people who have the deluxe box are, if you specifically like a commander, like Einer, there's new Einer robots in here. And those are just like variant versions of robots that are already in the game. Like there's a different version of Einer, uh, Arc 150, and you would just use the same Arc 150 piece, but there's a new card with new abilities. And there's, so yeah, there's 10 of those sort of variant robots in this deck. Um, but yeah, that's basically a summary of what this paper says. Uh, uh, yeah, so if you want to take, if you want to take your box and dump out all the cards in pieces and just slap them all in there right from the start, that's perfectly good too. But if you just want to carefully dissect the box, you know, one or two games at a time, that's what this video is for. And if you want to figure out how to get all your stuff back into the box neatly, just go to our channel and there is a nice how to repack your Aegis box video. And uh, yeah, that's it.